In this video, I will show you how to use the 3DS microSD management to transfer files between your console and your PC wirelessly under Windows 10. So, let's get started. The 3DS microSD management only works on the new 3DS, new 3DS XL, and new 2DS XL. So do not ask me whether it works on other devices. And as far as I know, it only works under Windows. But in this video, I will cover how to do it under Windows 10. To set up the microSD management, we need to open the system settings. I assume that you haven't set up the Wi-Fi connection, so press the internet settings. If your console already connected to your home Wi-Fi, then you can skip this step. Select connection settings, then choose new connection. Select manual setup, and press search for access point. Pick your Wi-Fi source, it should come from your home router. Type in your router password, then press OK. Press OK to confirm, and get back to the system settings main menu. Now select Data Management. Choose MicroSD Management. Press Next to continue. Make sure to select the correct Wi-Fi source, then press OK. Now set up your console's username. You can leave it as default, or type in any name you like. The next thing is to set up the console's password. Again, you can leave it as default, or type in any password you like. One last thing is to set up the console's name. Set it up or leave it as default. Then press OK to confirm. Remember to use this info upon logging to your 3DS while on your Windows 10. On your Windows 10, type in Windows Feature on the search bar. And just turn Windows Features on or off. Scroll down on that pop-up window and search for SMB 1.0. And enable that feature. Press OK to confirm it. And then, you need to restart your computer. After rebooting your computer, open the file explorer. Select network. And you will see your 3DS right there. If it doesn't show up, then you will need to check your network connection and find the culprit. Double-click your 3DS and type in your console's username and password. Click the microSD, then you can see all the files inside your console's SD card wirelessly. You can now transfer any files between your console and your PC without hassle. If you have done with transferring files, simply press the close button to terminate the network connection.
and you can go back and close the system settings. And there you go. You have completed a basic guide on how to transfer files between your console and your PC with the built-in microSD management. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.